Hey, HXR Smurf here for a PFSense throttling tutorial. I'm on PFSense 224. You want to go to Firewall, uh, Traffic Shaper, Limiter, create a new limiter, click Upload, and then 384 kilobits per second. That's about a fourth of my upload speed. I get about 1.2, 1.3 megabits upload. Not very good, I agree. And then you want to say mask source. And then you just want to do a new limiter, call it download, and then I have it as my max download speed, 15 megabits per second. Same thing, source address. For some reason, if I do gigabit, it just breaks my connection um, in regards to outgoing. So I just avoid that, and I just do it in megabits. Next you want to do Firewall Schedules, and then just do a new schedule. We'll edit my old one. Here you can select the day of the week, and then you can select the time. And of course label it, and you do add time. So for example, I have Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, between 5 and 7.30 in the morning before work, before everyone goes to work, it throttles the network. And then during, and then Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, 4.30 and 10.30 is after work when people are home. So between 7.30 and 4.30, the upload is not limited at all. So it can go do backups or whatever you want. Now Wednesday and Friday through Sunday, so Wednesday, Friday through Sunday, I have it 5 to 10.30 to throttle because someone's home that day. And as you can see, between 10.30 and 4.59, it won't throttle because, you know, we're sleeping. Um, so that's pretty easy. And then you just click Save, of course. Next, you want to go Firewall rules LAN and then just click plus I'll edit my old rule so you can say interface LAN IPv4 TCP or TCP UDP up to you source you can select a specific source on your LAN or you can do any that is destination any description and then down here in the advanced features in out you want to do upload for the first box which limits my upload per the schedule to uh, the 384 kilobits per second and then the out is download the 15 megabits per second then click save now you're thinking why do I have specific 384 it's because it's divided by 64, which is the TCP packet size, so the firewall doesn't have to chop those packets up. I was reading that online earlier as well. Um, as well as, rather, um, if you make a change to the limiter and you're not seeing it right away, you have to go to Diagnostics and then States and reset states. You'll lose your connection to everything, so you have to restart your SSH session, you'll have to restart your upload, etc. And if you want to just change the schedule, you do not have to reset the state. It automatically detects that after a couple seconds. So there you have it, PFSense throttling how-to. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.